Wait, is Jamaica planning to go nuclear? Well, they're thinking about it. Jamaica has a very ambitious goal of increasing its use of renewable energy to 50% of the country's energy mix by 2030. This has been readjusted from the previous target of 30%. Now, I'm just learning that the government is thinking about including nuclear energy into this energy mix. Interesting. One of the goals has been to decrease our reliance on fossil fuels, and in recent years, Jamaica has made some progress in the area of renewable energy, overcoming obstacles to effectively establish a few wind and solar initiatives. Affordability and stability are some of the expected benefits of including nuclear energy into this energy mix. Now, the president of the Jamaica Renewable Energy Association, JREA, Alex Hill, believes that despite the pros and cons, the possibility of including it in our energy mix in the next five years should not be dismissed. However, the vice president of the same organization does not share his sentiments, believing that win already yet and with that in mind let's just dive into the pros and cons and at the end you guys can tell me what your thoughts are on the matter nuclear plants unlike fossil fuels such as coal natural gas and oil do not produce carbon dioxide during energy generation therefore they should help in reducing our carbon footprint although i doubt tiny jamaica is as much of a problem as the larger more industrialized countries but here's the thing correct me if i'm wrong but isn't one of the most significant disadvantages of nuclear energy the production of radioactive waste nuclear reactors produce spent fuel rods and other radioactive materials that remain hazardous for thousands of years the safe disposal and management of nuclear waste present complex technical and ethical challenges so carbon dioxide or nuclear waste another issue is the possibility of nuclear accidents while rare they can have catastrophic consequences events like the chernobyl disaster in 1986 and the fukushima accident in 2011 serve as reminders of the potential risks associated with nuclear power these accidents can lead to radiation exposure environmental contamination and long-term effects jamaica too little for that i mean imagine the impact of such an accident on a limited land area like jamaica nuclear fuel can produce a large amount of energy over an extended period of time which in turn makes nuclear power plants efficient and cost effective as they require less fuel compared to fossil fuel based power plants however nuclear energy relies on uranium and to a lesser extent thorium as fuel sources while these resources are not as finite as fossil fuels they are still finite and could become scarce in the long term plus we would have to import them because i don't think we have them in jamaica now on to the stability pro that was referenced earlier these power plants provide a reliable and continuous power supply which is essential for meeting the energy demands of industrial and residential sectors unlike renewable energy sources like solar and wind nuclear reactors can operate around the clock ensuring a reliable power supply even in adverse weather conditions but will nuclear plants fare well in our hurricane prone climates According to this Observer article, Jamaica to go nuclear, the vice president of the Jamaica Renewable Energy Association, Jason Robinson, does not think so. He's quoted as saying, Jamaica is located in a hurricane and earthquake zone, which puts us in extreme danger without having to worry about nuclear meltdown. Also, Jamaica's brand is a natural vibe, not one that fits well with nuclear energy. I think it would take a lot away from Brand Jamaica in terms of tourism as well, he contended. Do you agree with his sentiments? Let me know in the comments. 
Let's move on. Another pro is efficient land use. Nuclear power plants typically require less land than renewable energy installations like wind or solar farms. On smaller islands like Jamaica with limited available land, this can be a practical advantage. Energy independence. Countries with a reliable nuclear energy infrastructure are less dependent on energy imports, including reducing their vulnerability to geopolitical tensions and fluctuations in global energy markets. This energy independence can enhance a nation's security and economic stability. What do you think about this advantage? Another con is high initial costs. The construction of nuclear power plants involves substantial upfront costs. Additionally, maintaining and upgrading safety measures require ongoing investments. The high capital costs can make nuclear energy less economically competitive compared to some renewable energy sources. I do remember reading that they are considering a small plant and it would be a part of the energy mix so it's not like we're focusing on nuclear energy alone and remember oil exploration in Jamaica is still ongoing there is so much to consider here so let me know what you think in the comments if you're interested in learning more about oil exploration I have a video compilation with all the information you need to know